In the first segment of this video, we're going to show you how to clear the cookies and cache in your Chrome browser. After you've opened your Chrome browser, click on the three dots in the upper right corner and scroll to Settings. When you get to Settings, you can search by typing in the word cache. When you type in cache, you can click on Clear Browsing Data. By clicking on the Clear Browsing Data, you'll get a couple of different options. It's important to note that you can clear your data for the last hour or for all time on your browser. If you go into the advanced section, you'll see that you have some different options of items that you want to clear. You could choose to clear out your password. You could choose to clear out the site settings, but for this, we're gonna leave it blank and click clear data. Chrome will do its work and clear the data. It's important to note that sometimes the browser will stay open, other times it will restart. In certain situations, it can help to reset your Google Chrome browser. In order to do this, again, you would go to the three dots in the upper right corner. You would scroll to settings, and inside of settings, you're just gonna scroll down until you see the word advanced. Click on advanced and keep scrolling until you see restore to their original defaults. Once you click on restore to your original defaults, you'll see a pop-up window that will allow you to reset settings and give you just a little disclaimer before you do so. Please note that if you reset your settings, all of your extensions will be disabled. Once you click reset, your Google Chrome account will not be linked to the browser anymore. In this case, you notice in the upper right hand corner that it's been paused. You will need to log back in using your RUSD credentials. Upon logging back in and confirming that it's your email account and clicking continue, your account will now be synced and there will be no more pause. At this point, we can see that our extensions in the upper right corner have been disabled. So we're going to go into more tools and click extensions and we're going to scroll through the extensions and see which items we'd like to turn back on. Once we turn these items back on, they will appear in the upper right corner of our browser and now they are ready to be utilized. The final fix can be a simple one, but it's one we forget to do often, and it's updating Google Chrome. This time when we click on the three dots, we're going to go to Help and About Google Chrome. Once we are in About Chrome, Google Chrome will be updated and we can relaunch. We would like to stress that these three examples do not always fix the problem, but they can be helpful in certain cases. Additionally, we would like you to know that these can be fixes for both students and staff devices. So if your students are having issues, please feel free to send them this video as well.